hello guys Molweni Ninjani I hope you guys are good welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video if you're new here hi welcome and I would really love it if you would subscribe we are on the road to 1k subscribers the goal is to hit 1k before this year ends and thank you so much for your support in my previous videos thank you so much to everyone that has subscribed I really really appreciate each and every one of you so in today's video I am gonna be doing a what's in my bag video this is my everyday bag right now because honestly ever since I bought this bag I am obsessed um, these are the kinds of videos I enjoy watching on YouTube um, I just turned this in on funo yasba what's inside people's bags so if now you nosy just like me <laughs> then you are going to enjoy this video um this is also how i discover new products by seeing what people keep in their bags so yeah i hope you guys are going to enjoy this video let us get right into it so first things first let me show you guys this beauty this is my bag the detailing says sophia and paul london this is how it looks like at the back. This is the side views. It is so beautiful. And the detailing is absolutely amazing. The last time I unboxed this bag, name, it was in a vlog, one of the vlogs that I did and I unboxed this bag. I just got it, I was very excited. And I titled my video luxury unboxing and someone came for me and said this is not luxury well it's luxury to me okay the quality of this bag is insane I think you guys can see it better now the detailing is insane it feels amazing it's such soft beautiful leather and before I've never paid $8.99 for a bag so to me this is luxury it may not be Louis Vuitton it may, it may not be Chanel it may not be Gucci but it's luxury to me okay the store is called um, Brasilia um, designer outlet it is at Hemingway's Mall but um, they do have an online store I will link the online store in the description box just in case you want to purchase this bag they have bags they have shoes and they have amazing quality the quality is insane it's the quality for me okay it is the quality for me okay guys let us get into the what's in my bag portion of this video my favorite part um, so first things first this is my wallet that is the first thing it fits perfectly in a bag and this wallet is from legit it kind of matches my bag but um, that's an old wallet but it kind of matches the bag okay um, and the next thing that I have in my bag is a hand sanitizer I got this one from Discam. it does the job it's 70% alcohol it just gets the job done okay and we are living in trying times so we need a hand sanitizer the next thing that I have in my bag are these shades I got these from from the fix um, this is what they look like oh, they look amazing if you follow me on Instagram you know I've been rocking these actually even some of my thumbnails on YouTube, I wear these shades quite a lot. I'm loving this for winter. I think big bulky shades are very appropriate for the winter time. So I've been using and abusing those shades. I think they were 89 brands from the fix. The next thing I have is a face mask because we are in a pandemic child. We need to stay safe. Um, also, I always have my lash. My lash glue from Ilo. Um, I use this lash glue from Ilo. I get this from Discam. 
it does the job but today i'm not wearing any lashes but as the eyelashes guys is yeah poker so if you're wearing lashes you have to have your glue in the back otherwise leo puma is really one pattern and endo during the peoples and another thing i have in my bag is this fit me powder i'm in the shade 350 caramel this is the fit me matte poreless powder again in the shade caramel this is what it looks like i always carry it with a powder brush just to touch up my makeup you know throughout that say make and make sure that my face stays matte i do have a very oily t-zone so normally that's the area that i would touch up these are a must in my bag and i love the fit me range guys it is so affordable it does the job it's one of my favorite makeup brands that i currently use and any indoor that i use is this pepanthen um i have very problematic dry painful lips um and nothing works for me vaseline doesn't work zambak doesn't really work nothing really works for my lips they're very dry they're very painful my lips are problematic child and the only thing that i found that it works it is this pepanthen this is a pepanthen nippy ointment it's for baby's buttons so literally my lips are as soft as a baby's bottom and that's on period you do get that it clicks or just came and it retails for about 120 30 rands for the big one you do get the small one for about 60 bucks um i also have my favorite lip gloss which I am wearing today. This is the Essence Plumping Nudes Lip Gloss. I like this lip gloss so much because it's slightly tinted and it looks great. I love this. It's a very nice natural nude color. And I also carry some of my favorite lipsticks. This is the two that I am loving. There's this lip stain um, from Woolies. Not from Woolies, from Foshini actually, and it's in the shade Pillow Talk. So nice. It's a nice nudie, purpley, pinkish color. And then I have this L'Oreal Paris Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sweet Sweet Tooth. Looks amazing. One of my favorite nudes as well. If you can't tell, I'm into nude lipsticks. I also have a pen because you never know when, when you might need a pen. So I always carry one around in my bag. Another essential that I have in my bag, now that Dogma Gordi is, what do you call this? Safety pins. This is my best friend. I do not leave the house without carrying these because there's a lot of things that needs to be put together, tied together, just in case you have a fashion emergency. I wear a lot of shirts as well, just in case I lose a button. This one is my friend and she's always in my bag child i even have the boss <laughs> of all of them because you never know why when you might need a safety pin so yeah and lastly i have the fragrance that i'm currently wearing today this is ysl libre this is my favorite one of my favorite high-end perfumes it smells amazing like literally it smells oh it smells great absolutely amazing i always carry the fragrance that i'm wearing just in case i need to you know just to zhuzh myself up or reapply during the day which is never the case especially with a high-end perfume but because i have a bigger bag that allows me room to carry a lot of things so I always carry a fragrance that I'm wearing. But if I'm carrying a smaller bag, honestly, I won't carry the fragrance. Um, especially if I'm wearing that YSL one. Because you don't really need to reapply. It really, really lasts very, very long. And lastly, I have this metal straw. I carry these in all of my bags. Because I'm all for paper straws. I'm all for saving the environment. But, be but after a couple of sips, let's be honest. That paper straw gets very, very soggy. 
and it's just got a nice feeling in your mouth you know and i don't like that and i purchased myself some metal straws that i keep in multiple bags that i have that i own let me give one to my husband because he's bougie like that as well um so yeah i always carry these around if i go to a restaurant or i'm at work i need to drink out of a straw i take out my own straw i don't use those paper straws because those can be unpleasant okay and that is everything you guys that is in my bag this is how it looks like on the inside so guys that's pretty much what i have inside my bag another item that is normally in my bag it is my phone which I can't show you right now because that is what I'm using to film. My camera lens broke. I don't have a camera lens, but that is not going to stop me from shooting content. So currently I'm using my phone. That's why I can't show you guys that. But normally I would have my phone as well in my bag. So yeah. That is it you guys for this video. I wanted to do a fun, short, sweet, straight to the point kind of video um this is basically me sharing what stays in my bag some of my favorite products that i use and abuse i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please comment guys you don't engage with my content you don't want to speak to me in the comment section girl i promise i don't bite okay please type something anything in the comment section so that we can chat up a storm okay because i love getting your comments um please share my content please get me to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year that is it you guys for this video i hope you really really enjoyed it i really enjoyed filming 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 um that is it you guys for this video i really hope you enjoyed it i will see you guys soon in my next video Bye-bye, Yenny. -bye.